Last time on Relegation Regen Rebuild. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild, AC Milan, FIFA 17. We sit in ninth position, we've been in a little bit of run, a little bit of good luck, a little bit of form here. Mancini has been doing the job day in, day out for us in the last couple of games, and hopefully he can continue that today. Um, we've got, what, six, eight games remaining in the season, so we're closing in on that big season number three. Uh, one thing I do want to cover today in today's episode, I need you to leave comments down below. I want to know new countries and positions to scout for. I'm going to reset the list for season three. So uh, all the comments from today's episode uh, will be put in. Uh, just, you know, there's probably a good 150 on the list at the moment. But uh, a lot of those guys may not even be watching this series. So I don't want to give them the opportunity uh, to pick a side. If you did pick one and you're still around, I do apologize that yours hasn't come up. But now you've got an opportunity to reset uh, your country that you want to scout. So in the comments down below, get down there now and write where you want me to go with the scouts and uh, whether we're scouting for physically strong, for goalkeepers, attackers, wingers, technically gifted, playmakers, not really defensive minded, not really looking for those players. But uh, yeah, wingers, get down there, write the country, write uh, where you want me to scout and uh, the the area that we're scouting for, and I'll start a new list ready for season three, which is probably three or four episodes away. But uh, yep, let's get into this one. We do have a player upgrade to do. Let's do that first. All right, today's player upgrade is Oliver Fries, the younger Fries brother. I think he's five foot five. This one comes from Marco Seven Romania. Thank you very much for your comment. He wanted fourteen or seventeen, which we're both taken, but then he said seventy-three. Uh, untucked, tight kit, undershirt with sleeves, long socks, and some New Balance blue boots. They weren't actually full-on blue boots. These were the closest thing I could find. Um, so Ollie's ready to go. Hopefully he gets a bit more game time as we close out the season. If you didn't watch yesterday's episode, go back and check that one out because I need you to go through the list and tell me which players you want kept at the club. And I'll be looking at the comments from that video to make the decision on who we keep around in the squad for season three. Now let's get into this gameplay. All right, here we go, San Siro. It is Milan hosting Vicelli. And a good run of form here from the lads. And hopefully we can continue that today. Pierre Roche comes into the midfield and Pierce Cunningham is gonna try him out at center back. The six foot six Irishman. Um, hopefully he can get the job done there, partnering up with Diaz. Vicelli down in 18th position. We picked up 51 points. So uh, a pretty good return here from Milan in their second season. Uh, with Davide Lombardi in control, but uh, we want to push on. Let's see if we can get out here and take another three points. That's Boyno. Finds Banks. Lombardi. Mancini. Mancini breaks the line. Passes it inside. Giordano! Oh, Mancini sets up Giordano perfectly. 14 minutes gone. It was sweatier than a gypsy with a mortgage. But we don't care. We're going to score any way we can. Oh, Mancini drove the line, got to the deep end of the box, was unsure where to go, slipped it back inside, and Giordano tucks it home beautifully. It's 1-0 Milan here at the San Siro, and the boys starting to find some form. And that is Giordano's fourth goal for the season, so some good return from the wingers in Banks and Giordano getting on the board constantly, helping out Mancini, and it's 1-0 to Milan. Ball down the line for Banks, and Banks is pushing through the midfield here. No one coming at him. Reese Banks skips around. No, picked off. Here's Clausen. Finds Mancini. Loves to get into the box. Mancini works his way inside. Can he get another pass in? He can. Oh, gets in. It's Roche on debut. Puts it in the back of the net. It's 2 0. And the Frenchman with his first touch in football. Finds himself in a really good position. Mancini, with his second assist of the game, slips it inside. And an exquisite finish there from the Frenchman. 
Oh, get the man a croissant. It is 2 0 here at Milan. Vicelli shell shocked. Get in there, son. What a way to make your name for the club. Mancini again on the forefront of the assist. Finds Giordano. Giordano. Oh. Breaks the line. It's Mancini. Oh, just one. And there's half time. It is 2 0 to Milan. Point off. Good steal. Clausen slips forward. He's got Mancini. Oh, leg from behind. Send him off. Filthy challenge. It's got to be a red. Fucking send him off, mate. That is yep. See you later. Off you go, mate, for a cupcake and a wank. See you later, Legati, you dickhead. And 49 minutes gone for Chelly down to 10 men. A rash challenge there on Mancini, and it will be Clausen here. Clausen doesn't have the curve. He's fresh. Lagging off. Slips it off. Mancini gets the touch on for Giordano. Goes back to Mancini. Mancini. Does well, takes the game on, passes it inside, Freese! Oh, Mancini with his third assist of the day. And it's young Oliver Freese getting a goal today. Well, Mancini, he is setting up everything. He's the leading goal scorer at the club, and now he's setting them up as well. And it is 3-0 here to Milan. What a turn and burn there from Freese. Oh, delicious, delicious finish. 3-0 Milan, fucking get in. The ball through, Mancini has been everywhere today. Slips it off, Laganov. Oh, what a save from the keeper. And there's Laganov pushing forward. Still 10 minutes to go in this game. We've got three goals. Laganov whips it in, back post looks for Giordano, but he can't keep this one down. All right, Lombardi from 27 yards. Let's see if the lad can take a free kick. Whips it up over the wall. Oh, he's hit the fucking crossbar and just misses out Laganov. Laganov did well. Freeze inside. Mancini! Oh, he's trying He's trying hard to get himself a goal. He's set up three. And that one's gone way over the top. You don't know. Oh, there's the whistle. A 3-0 victory for Milan. And the momentum forward continues. Well, what a game for Milan there. 17 shots. Only eight on target, unfortunately. But Mancini was setting them up left, right and centre. And gets himself a man of the match, 9.4 performance. Didn't score a goal, but three assists. You'll take that any day. All right, here we go. Game number two of the episode. It's Benevento hosting Milan. We are on some red hot form and we'll want that to continue today. Making some substitutions around the ground. But obviously Mancini is starting up front. There's no denying that man. He can do just about everything and it is uncanny. Uh, the skill that this man is providing to this team at the moment. We've moved up to 8th position, 54 points. Benevento down in 14th on 45. And uh, we're looking for another victory here today. I don't care. There's just been a change of fortune. I haven't changed any settings whatsoever. Uh, but all of a sudden, everything's just started to click. And we've started to find some goals and started to find some wins. Here's the Benevento side. They're setting up pretty similar to how we do. So uh, it will be man-on-man -man action. Which, uh, you know, not really... Man on man, no one really likes that, do they? But, uh, yeah, let's just get into this one. Here's our starting lineup. It's Santoro, Lombardi, Diaz, Choi, Sandoval, Mop, Zhao, Suk, Laganov in the middle. Uh, Fries and Suk are out on the wings, and Mancini up front. Let's get into it. Laganov, good touch on. Mancini slips this one off. It's Laganov now, pushes inside, and then gets drilled. Oh, and injured. Laganov down in the box. Six minutes gone. Davide Lombardi can't believe it. And it is a corner. But, uh, the injury there to Laganov. Mock whips this one in. Sandoval gets a touch. No one on the end of it. And they clear it out for another corner. And it will be Mock to deliver in once again. Who's going to get up? Diaz. He's put it well, it only took six minutes and we've lost Laganov. And we're going to put the faith in young Mozarov. He's come up with the goods in a couple of games that he has played. Uh, so a real, real big job here for the young lad to step up and hopefully provide some assistance to Mancini up front. Good work from Zhao. We've had no possession. Zhao off to Mozarov. Can he set something up here? We've only had about 30-odd percent possession. Mozarov now slips this one forward. He's got Sook. 
Just needs a little cross over the back. Xiao! Yes! Su Xiao gets here and his first goal for the club. It's 1-0 Milan. Well, he set that one up with a tackle at the back. Fed it out wide. Sook. And Xiao, he keeps running. Oh, an unorthodox header there. But he's managed to get himself his first goal for the club. It's 1-0 Milan. Get in, son. Ah, oh, Su Xiao. Get in there. Finding some talent now here at Milan. 44th minute goal as we head towards half time. Get in. Oh, Shaoi again. Sook. Lazarov. Feeds it off. Mancini. Can he set something up here? No, he gets bumped off the ball. There's the whistle. Half time. It is 1 0 to Milan. To Sook. And Sook darts through the middle. Needs the run. Gets it here, Mozarov. Mozarov! Oh, what a goal from Mozzi! Get in, son! 2 0 Milan! And there he is, popping up when required. His third goal for the season. Sook just fed it through, took a little touch, and then just smacked it home. It's 2 0 Milan. The whitewash continues. Get in there. We're on the road up the table. Oh, good ball inside, and Benevento. Break the line. Sandoval had him corralled. Uh, still managed to let him get the pass inside. And that is a cracking ball. Diaz did try to block the space. But, uh, that is a class little finish there. Santoro completely not ready for that one. And it's 2-1. Oh, hands it off. Mancini. Oh, it's a penalty. Oh, Mancini strips him. And then he gets taken down. It's a penalty. Mancini. Steps up and puts it in. Get inside. Mancini, he's been looking for a goal for a while. And now he gets himself one. That's his 15th for the season. And he's trying to contend for a golden boot here, but uh, he's still a little bit off the mark. 70 minutes gone. It is 3-1, and Mancini from the spot delivers. Get in there. Oh, Diaz. Brilliant tackle, and he takes off here. He's got Konstantinov. With an acre of space. Konstantinov just needs to finish. Passes it inside Mancini. Oh, Paul waited too long for the pass. And there is the whistle. So a 3-1 victory. No clean sheet for Santoro. But another victory and three more points for Milan. So 10 shots to three. The boys are starting to fire up here in the late stages of this season. We only had 39% possession for three goals. And uh, just an all-and-out performance from most of the lads. Sook did a really good job on the right. Belgazi, not 100% sure on that lad, but uh, the defense was delicious. And we come away with a 3-1 victory. All right, here we go. Game number three, back at the San Siro. Milan hosting Shivari. And uh, we are in some red-hot form at the moment. We want that to continue today. Mancini leading this side from the front. And uh, just really doing a job. It could possibly deserve the captain's armband, but Diaz is doing a solid job there at the back. We're in sixth now, and we're in with a sniff here of uh, pushing further up the table. Well, I predicted seventh at the start of the season. We've outdone that at the moment with uh, what uh, six or seven games remaining. And another win here. Well, things could get very, very interesting. Mancini on 15 goals, Dumbia on 18, so the golden boot is alive and well. Hopefully Mancini can find a few more goals and uh, we can try and chase down Dumbia. Let's get into it. Lombardi, great ball through to Banks. Banks finds Clausen. Oh, there's a free kick if ever I've seen one. Clausen absolutely drilled in the eighth minute. And it will be... Oh, red card! See you later, you fuckstick! Eight minutes, you dickhead! Well, he didn't want to play a game of football today. You fucking muppet. Get a haircut. Absolutely. Rex Clausen tries to stick two fingers in. And he is gone. And Shivari down to 10 men early. And fuck it. Let's give... Uh, no, nah, not Clausen. Sorry, buddy. It's going to be Banks. 28 yards out. Whips it around. Oh, just saved. Corner for Milan. And number 18, you can see there, is Cunningham. He is an absolute tower of a man. Here comes the header. up. Santoro makes the save. Oh, great work from Richard. Tucks it off to Voinov. Oh, it's a great ball through. Clausen, can he finish? Clausen! Oh, he's missed again. Clausen, oh, there's the whistle. Half time. So a 10-man Shivari 
have decided to sit back and defend and uh, we haven't been able to break them down so it's still nil all at half time Popov does well Mancini slips this one forward it's Banks takes the strike works the keeper and it's a corner now for Milan come on boys they're down to 10 men surely we can pop a goal in here somewhere oh Banks picks it off Mancini slips it through Clausen oh save again from this keeper Giordano down the line oh there's a ball Konstantinov cuts back passes off Mancini oh come on don't just stand fucking move around oh, we've got the corner come on Giordano whips this one in get up Mancini oh and he's missed again come on oh, good work from Oliver Freese slips this one off to Roche here we go Mancini Oh, and another save. Ikebuchi is absolutely on point today. We're not beating this keeper. Still going. Cuts back. Can he get a pass inside? He can. Mancini. Oh, dispossessed. There's the whistle. Shavari down to 10 men. Hold on with the defensive game. And it finishes nil all. Well, they sat back and just did not give a fuck about attacking. 11 shots, only five on target. And unfortunately, we couldn't get a goal today. A good performance from the lads, but just missed the finish. All right, time for today's player upgrade. It is the huge Irishman, six foot six, Cunningham. If you want to make any changes to his kit or his number, let me know in the comments, and we'll get that happening for you in a future episode. Right, so an insatiable run of form here from Milan. Sees us in sixth position with five games remaining. We have 58 points. It might be a little bit tough to chase down one of those uh, promotional spots, but uh, a, a great performance. I cannot complain with how the team has been playing. It would have been nice to get a goal there uh, against the 10 men. Man, uh, Shivari, but uh, oh, they're in 16th, so uh, yeah, we probably should have tried to take that one there, but unfortunately, we didn't. Um, it doesn't really matter though. We've picked up 40 goals now for the season, that's a pretty good return. Only 25 against us, so we're still the best defensive team in the league. But uh, Roma has 27, but they've obviously put in a lot more goals. But uh, I'm happy, I'm fucking happy with how this team is turning around. And uh, moving into season three, it is going to get very, very interesting. So, uh, yep, thanks very much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Spyro DK, it's five o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. <laughs>